I want to thank you all for your feedback on my mix and I wanted to make this video because some of you may not know but I actually formally taught at a uh, high school I wasn't I was a temporary substitute teacher filling in for a specialized uh, area uh, audio video um, for a, for a good friend of mine who was my former teacher anyway um, at I taught I was there for a total of about seven months on two different occasions uh, separ separated by about four years and let's see I also taught middle school age kids at a summer camp one year and anyway my point with all this is one thing I realized about education the ed you know just the education system in general is we have to give people a chance to learn a chance to make mistakes because the time to make mistakes is when lives aren't on the line when you know you aren't worried about losing a lot of money and uh with this mix i know it's not the same thing but it kind of is like all right here's the bottom line i want to thank you all for your feedback first of all secondly here's what you need to understand a lot of people want to act like they're perfect a lot of people want to act like there's no, they've never made mistakes and that they don't have some kind of peer review system in place while they're doing their work. Uh, you guys got to understand, I'm, I'm all by myself. Like I do work with other people sometimes, but for the most part, I'm doing my own video editing. I'm doing my own audio mixing. So to get feedback from you all is great. Um, many people responded to, to that video and I agreed with a lot of it. And luckily, I, f I figured out what one of the major problems was with that mix. And the other was, uh, you know, just the bottom line of check. I didn't use Audified Mix Checker, which I should have. Somebody suggested, I, I, sorry, I, I, I think Strange Happenings, I think was his name. I'm probably getting that wrong. Might have been the other guy with the S name. <laughs> sorry, I didn't write all this down. Um, he suggested that I check mix or uh, vocal levels using a smartphone and mix checker pro actually has that built into the the plugin and i didn't use mix mix checker pro i didn't use arc like i normally would or reference i should have i also maybe should have listened to my headphones first because that helped a little bit but um bottom line is i, ha I actually did end up having fun doing this mix because it was a challenge and i Hopefully won't make the same mistake again of putting a bus compressor on the drum bus and then once I started changing the levels, not changing the threshold control, or in this case, an input control. Um, I didn't show it on screen, but I'm using Slate Digital's Monster plugin um, to get that all buttons in 1176 trick going on with the drums because the drums were just, you know, they were soft. I wanted them to hit harder. Also, I think I over-compressed on a few things, namely the bass guitar, and um, I, think the, I thought the vocals came out okay. Some people suggested adding more reverb, some people su suggested having uh, less noticeable delay. See, these are all like subjective things, which is something that if I was working on this mix with an artist, they would tell me, yeah, give me more reverb. Trust me, I, I always hear about three things every mix, and this is why I started doing the live mixes with that audio movers listen to plugin because I got tired of the revisions first of all vocal level bass level and then reverb choice or you know it's usually along those lines always bass level always vocal level and um but so th this stuff is all subjective in an ideal world you know what like Hollywood or New York record plant the musicians would be there to give guidance to the mix engineer. And I've worked that way before, but I don't work that way normally, except now I do have that option. Um, and I include that in with my, my mixing packages so that it's not even like something that I, I hope people do it. I really do. But like a lot, a lot of times people are like, oh, I don't have time for it. And then like, they send me back all these revisions. This is why I tell you guys get a contract two revision times, all the other stuff costs more because you don't. I call it the endless mix, and you're gonna have an endless mix if you don't put in um, a maximum amount of revisions included in your rates. 
So I don't know why. Oh, this is. I guess this is Sage Saturday. I'll, I'll, I'll label this as a Sage Saturday video. So again, thank you all for the feedback. Again, that mix was not final, and I knew it wasn't final because I had some automation left to do. Plus, I ended up having to, um, you know, fix the drums. So I will be probably having that final mix up either Monday or Tuesday because I took a break from it today. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good weekend, everybody.